the American Revolution was a pivotal moment in history, a journey towards independence that forever changed the course of a nation. It began as a response to oppressive British rule, with colonists yearning for freedom and self-governance. By June 1776, with the Revolutionary War in full swing, a growing majority of the colonists had come to favor independence from Britain. On July 4th, the Continental Congress voted to adopt the Declaration of Independence, drafted by a five-man committee including Franklin and John Adams, but written mainly by Jefferson. That same month, determined to crush the rebellion, the British government sent a large fleet, along with more than 34,000 troops to New York. In August, Howe's Redcoats routed the Continental Army on Long Island. Washington was forced to evacuate his troops from New York City by September. Pushed across the Delaware River, Washington fought back with a surprise attack in Trenton, New Jersey on Christmas night, and won another victory at Princeton to revive the rebels' flagging hopes before making winter quarters at Morristown. British strategy in 1777 involved two main prongs of attack, aimed at separating New England from the other colonies. To that end, General John Burgoyne's army marched south from Canada toward a planned meeting with Howe's forces on the Hudson River. Burgoyne's men dealt a devastating loss to the Americans in July by retaking Fort Ticonderoga, while Howe decided to move his troops southward from New York to confront Washington's army near the Chesapeake Bay. The British defeated the Americans at Brandywine Creek, Pennsylvania on September 11th and entered Philadelphia on September 25th. Washington rebounded to strike Germantown in early October before withdrawing to winter quarters near Valley Forge. Howe's move had left Burgoyne's army exposed near Saratoga, New York, and the British suffered the consequences of this on September 19th, when an American force under General Horatio Gates defeated them at Freeman's Farm in the First Battle of Saratoga. After suffering another defeat on October 7th at Bemis Heights, Burgoyne surrendered his remaining forces on October 17th, the American victory. Saratoga would prove to be a turning point of the American Revolution, as it prompted France to enter the war openly on the American side, though it would not formally declare war on Great Britain until June 1778. The American Revolution, which had begun as a civil conflict between Britain and its colonies, had become a world war. During the long, hard winter at Valley Forge, Washington's troops benefited from the training and discipline of the Prussian military officer, Baron Friedrich von Steuben, and the leadership of the French aristocrat, Marquis de Lafayette. On June 28, 1778, as British forces under Sir Henry Clinton attempted to withdraw from Philadelphia to New York, Washington's army attacked them near Monmouth, New Jersey. The battle effectively ended in a draw as the Americans held their ground, but Clinton was able to get his army and supplies safely to New York. On July 8, a French fleet commanded by the Comte d'Estaing arrived off the Atlantic coast, ready to do battle with the British. A joint attack on the British at Newport, Rhode Island in late July failed, and for the most part the war settled into a stalemate phase in the north. By the fall of 1781, Greene's American forces had managed to force Cornwallis and his men to withdraw to Virginia's Yorktown Peninsula, near where the York River empties into Chesapeake Bay. Supported by a French army commanded by General Jean-Baptiste de Rochambeau, Washington moved against Yorktown with a total of around 14,000 soldiers while a fleet of 36 French warships offshore prevented British reinforcement or evacuation. Trapped and overpowered, Cornwallis was forced to surrender his entire army on October 19th. Claiming illness, the British general sent his deputy, Charles O'Hara, to surrender. After O'Hara approached Rochambeau to surrender his sword, Washington gave the nod to his own deputy, Benjamin Lincoln, who accepted it. Though the movement for American independence effectively triumphed at the Battle of Yorktown, contemporary observers did not see that as the decisive victory yet. British and American negotiators in Paris signed preliminary peace terms in Paris late that November, and on September 3, 1783, Great Britain formally recognized the independence of the United States in the Treaty of Paris. At the same time, Britain signed separate peace treaties with France and Spain, which had entered the conflict in 1779 bringing the American Revolution to a close after eight long years. Through perseverance and unity, the colonies succeeded in securing their independence, creating the United States of America. The American Revolution stands as a testament to the enduring spirit of freedom and the power of a people united in pursuit of a common ideal.